MyTime HQ is a collaborative online workspace. This site is designed for people who are working on the MyTime program and the MyTime for Grandparents program, including coalition coordinators, provider agencies, facilitators and play helpers. To get started, you'll firstly need to accept the invitation sent to your email. If you can't see the invitation in your inbox, please check your junk mailbox. Follow the link provided in the email to set up your password. Your username will be your email address. Once you've set up your account, the home page will appear. You'll see options to add a profile image or add content, but you can close this box for now so that you can see more of the page. On the left hand side of the home page, you'll see a list of groups. To join a group that's relevant to you, click on the group title. Group members must be approved before joining. This means that if you join the MyTime Facilitators group, for example, you can rest assured that all other members of the group are genuine MyTime Facilitators. Click on the yellow bar at the top here to join the group. Type a message to the moderators, then press Send Request. You'll receive an email notification once your request is approved. Once you're a member of the group, you'll be able to participate in discussions with other members in a similar role to you. Underneath the groups, you'll see a list of upcoming events, and below that, you'll see the latest posts in the discussion forum. On the right-hand side of the home page, you'll see a link to your inbox, which is like an email account, but it only allows you to communicate with other members of MyTime HQ. You'll also see a link to invite your colleagues to join MyTime HQ, and a link to update your profile settings. The settings page is where you can update your profile image, personal details and your password. From the top menu, you can access a range of other features in MyTime HQ. The My Page tab shows how your member profile appears to others, based on what you've entered on the settings page. Other members can post messages to your comment wall on your page, and you can do the same on other members' pages. To find another member's page, click on the Members tab. You can browse the members of the site, or you can search for a particular person using the search box. When you find the person you're looking for, you can click on their name to visit their page. From their page, you can invite them to become your friend on MyTime HQ, or you can send a message to their MyTime HQ inbox. The Forums tab gives you access to the main discussion forum on the site. This is a great place to communicate and collaborate with other members who might have a different role to you in the MyTime program. The Professional Development tab provides information about where you can access resources and courses to support you in your role. You'll find information here about past state forums. If you hear about a professional development opportunity that you think might be useful for other members, you can click on Submit a PD Opportunity and share it on the site. Click on the Events tab if you want to view upcoming PD events, including conferences, both face-to-face -face and online. To find out more about an event, click on its title. You can register your interest in attending by selecting an option from the RSVP list on the right. You can also add any events that you think would be relevant to other MyTime HQ members. Adding an event is quite easy to do. Simply click on the Add button and enter the details of your event. You can choose to upload an image for your event, but it's not required. You can choose whether to make the event open to all members or just invite certain people and you can choose whether or not to set up an RSVP list. Once you've entered the details of your event, press Add Event at the bottom of the screen. The Resources section is where you'll find useful documents and forms. You can select any of the subcategories to find resources relevant to your role. Anytime you see purple text, you can click on this link to access the resource. For some resources, you may be prompted to open it up in another software application, such as Microsoft Word, or save it to your computer. If you have any questions, feedback or suggestions about the resources section, feel free to leave a comment at the bottom of any page. The last tab, the Media Center tab, gives you access to a range of resources to promote your MyTime group locally and nationally. Here you'll find MyTime logos, posters, brochures, presentation templates and tips for media releases and interviews. MyTime HQ also has a chat feature which allows you to interact with other members in real time when they're online. You can see who's online at any time by clicking on the Members Online link. You can start a chat by clicking on the Main Room link. Simply type a message and press Enter. 
If you wish to see a larger view of the chat, press the pop out button here. You may like to use this feature to arrange online meetings with other MyTime HQ members. If you don't want to show up as being online and available to chat, simply click on the Options button and click on the words Connected to Chat. This will disconnect you from the chat feature. If you experience any problems or have any questions about MyTime HQ, please contact the MyTime team at mytime at parentingrc.org.au.